All right, this is part three of our tier list series. We are doing armors today. So let's jump right into it. I'm putting two reskinned armors in D tier. We got Santa armor and assassin armor wrap. So Santa armor is in D tier because it's an anti-explode reskin with, what do you call it? Presence on the back. Gives away your position. Really bulky. I don't like it unless you're cosplaying Santa. Assassin armor wrap. Unless you're cosplaying the Grim Reaper himself, don't use it. Yeah, you can use it in the dark, blah, 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 whatever. Shut up, okay? It might have the trail effect still. It has the wings that give away your position. I uh, Just don't use it. It's not worth your money. Oh, yeah, it also costs money. Don't spend money on it. Spend money for, I don't know, Halloween armor because it's literally the fucking same thing. Don't even buy the Santa VIP unless you want, like, the Snow Blaster. Like, yeah. Just don't. C tier. I don't think there's any C tier armors. B tier. Um, I'm going to put two in B tier. I'm going to put bulletproof vest. Now, bulletproof vest without perks is the most generic armor in the game. It has an effective HP of uh, 1,250, which is nice. But it has an uh, actual HP of 1,000 against anything except for small arms bullets. So it's great, but it's not great because it's only versatile against noobs. And that's it. Bulletproof vest. No bueno. Not very good. Uh, B tier. Next in B tier. Bunny suit. Bunny suit got nerfed. It's double jump is bad. Um, 16 walk speed. 850 health. Uh, it, against small arms, it basically has, what, like 400 HP less than bulletproof vest? That's a lot. I wouldn't use bunny armor unless, you know, you max out all of your per perks and find a way to use this. Like, you know, the uh, the bunny hop perk, I mean, you could use that at level 5, 30,000 points, plus 15, plus 3,000, plus 600, plus 120. I don't know. Maybe 60% jump height is pretty nice. But besides that, uh, I, I don't know about that, chief. Anyway, moving on. Uh, most armors are A tier or S tier, in my opinion. Uh, a tier, you're going to see a recurring theme between survivability and mobility. I think the bottom of A tier is heavy armor. So heavy armor is only good against noobs. Infantry explosive splash damage is a 50% resistance. And grenade launchers is a 0% resistance. You can be melted. You only have 2,000 HP. You're melted by grenade launchers. You're melted by rockets. And even splash damage kind of hurts a little bit. Vehicle explosives also 50% resistance, but they do so much damage, especially the uh, armor piercing rounds, that it's kind of it's kind of bad unless you're indoors and you know no one is using uh, explosives on you. Okay. Next up in A tier, I'm going to put the basic armor suit it's better because it has the eod perk which at level 5 80 percent grenade resistance 60 percent small arms resistance versus 80 i think that's an upgrade to be completely honest with you eod suit is a more well-rounded version of heavy armor next in a tier i'm gonna put shield armor suit shield armor suit is here because it has the shield it cannot block explosive however it can block small arms bullets which is very nice and combine that with you know the mobility strength that doesn't have any modifications yet but it will one day hopefully mobility strengthen and battlefield recovery and you have a pretty formidable armor on your hands um at, yeah i'm gonna leave shield armor below basic i think basic is better than shield because of the perks it has Next in A tier, we have two more in A tier. I'm going to put Tactical Shield in A tier. So with Mobility Strengthen, Flak Armor, and Battlefield Recovery, I think this armor is actually pretty good. Yeah, you can't use... What do you call it? I can't speak today. Yeah, you can't use Sniper Rifles, but Light Machine Guns are still pretty active. Like the Ultimax, you can use the Ultimax with this, gun, uh, with this armor. It's pretty nice. I think it's a solid A tier. And finally in A tier, Uber VIP armor suit. Uh, it's right here. You got 1300 health with a 15 walk speed, but you can just equip mobility strength and flak armor and battlefield recovery. 
or Rampage. You can also use Rampage. 100,000 contribution points. Holy fuck. Good lord. That is a lot of contribution points. This is actually not bad. But yeah, that's a lot. Panic Escape is also 100,000. Battlefield Recovery is also 100,000. Good lord. Uber VIP is expensive. But it's worth it. I think it's top of A tier. S tier. Fourth place, Halloween Armor. Third place, Anti-Explode. They're the same armors. Look, same armor. Same armor. You can interchange these because Halloween Armor is an actual good reskin. So it's not obstructive uh, like the uh, other reskins in the game. And you have that bit of orange there for intimidation. So that's pretty cool. All right. Um, second place. I'm going to piss some people off. Assassin Armor is in second place. The reason why it's in second place is because mobility strengthen, lightweight suit, rampage. You can hit 42 walk speed with all of that, folks. It hits the walk speed cap. Boy, is that overpowered. It's so uncontrollable that sometimes you can't even aim when you're at rampage speeds. It's ridiculous. Too fast. It's too fast. Knees a nerf, please. First place. Light armor. Mobility strengthen. Flak armor. And wait for it. Battlefield recovery. You don't have to use rampage. Battlefield recovery means you don't need to use a med kit. You can auto heal when you kill people. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is really nice to have. You can also use frontal guard. I don't have it unlocked because I think it's bad. Because you get 10% front resistance, but 12.5% decreased resistance in the back. And at the very end, it's 20% and 25%. Uh, I just don't like uneven armors like that, especially if you're going to get backstabbed really easily. So I would rather use uh, flak armor. 21% splash resistance and 30% at level 5. I think that's a little bit better, personally. So I use that. But yeah, light armor is top one because you're at 24 walk speed at level 5 mobility. 20% of 20 is 4. 24 walk speed, you're at assassin armor base walk speed. With the utility of Battlefield Recovery at level 5, this recovers instantly 10% of your health and 30% over 4 seconds. It's a nice auto-heal, automatic tool to have. So, that is my armor tier list. Let me know what you guys think in the description below. Again, I think the worst one in the game is Assassin Armor Rat because it's a horrible reskin. And the best one is Light Armor because it's the most versatile and well-rounded. Let me know what you guys think in the description below. It's been Piggle. I know I've been talking for eight minutes, but I will see everyone in the next video. I'm going to try and upload consecutive videos. So let's see if I upload tomorrow. I'll see everyone later. Peace out.